If you're on Tenerife, you definitely want to check out the Taden National Park. It's easy to go there by car or by bus and of course its main attraction is the Mount Taden as it's the third biggest island volcano on the earth. But the surrounding of the volcano is also pretty good as you find some trails with great views. So at my first visit in the national park I decided to do that. Wow, this is so epic here. I actually have to hide between the rocks here so that the wind doesn't get into the microphone. But it, I'm surrounded here by clouds and like they are going through here so fast. It's just amazing. Two weeks later I finally hiked up Mount Tata overnight to see the sunrise. Going up there overnight is also much easier to organize as you don't need a permit to go up like you would have to over the day. I started going up around midnight and I could have easily arrived at the summit one hour before sunrise. But I strongly suggest to do a break at the Alta Vista mountain refuge as it can get very cold up the volcano. quite funny when I arrived here a lot of people were sitting in the entrance and the door was closed so they were just um, sitting there to warm each other basically so it looked quite funny and yeah now I'm waiting here for around an hour I already did a similar trek last year on Bali to the Mount Agung it was around five hours going up so this is a bit longer but I would say it's a bit easier to go up here simply because the pass is much better like on the Mount Agung in Bali there was not a real pass, you're basically walking in the real nature and it's much harder to go there, so here it's much easier. And yeah, so just warm up a bit now, get some coffee here, have a nice warm drink and then go up to the summit.
So I made it. Now I got back down here with a cable car and it's fantastic to drive down with a cable car simply because then you see how much you walked over the night. And that's amazing, like hiking it all the night up and then seeing that. And, and it's actually good to hike in the night because you don't see how far it is. Otherwise, I, I would say I would be pretty demotivated. But I actually think that some of you guys don't want to do this hike, but still want to see the sunrise. And there is an option. You can get a permit in advance and also book the cable car here and book the mountain refuge. So then um, you have everything. You can go up by cable car, like take one of the last cable cars around uh, 3 or 4 p.m. Then um, you go up there and you can see the sunset. You sleep at the mountain refuge and then in the morning you go up from the mountain refuge. So then you don't need to do the complete trek. It's still a bit hard because it goes deep up there, but uh, it's uh, definitely a lot less to walk. So right now I have to go back to the parking space from my car. It's around three kilometers away. So another three kilometer walk, but that's okay. The track wasn't too hard. Actually, this little things here, the tracking sticks, they, they made it so easy. So I would, if you, if you hike, just, just use them. It's, it's the best. <laughs> 